Hi everyone and welcome to Twee, an AI powered platform for teachers that helps you create personalized lesson materials in no time. In this demo, I will show you how to make the most of our tools. Let's go. First, a short overview. On Twee, we have not only tools for language teachers that help to create educational materials and lesson plans, but also assessment tools that provide individualized feedback and even something for classroom management. You can create a full lesson, share it with students, get feedback, therefore managing the whole learning process efficiently. Let's dive into more detail. When you log into Twee, you will instantly see a variety of AI teaching tools neatly organized into different categories. We've got tools for creating activities that practice reading, vocabulary, writing, speaking and listening. Okay, so now I'm going to create my first English lesson plan and I want to build it around a YouTube video. My students have level B2 on the CFR scale and I'm going to keep that in mind while creating the exercises. First, I need to choose the audio and video question creator tool. Since I'm using Twee Pro, I can either paste a link or upload my own file, whether it's audio or video. Within the free version, you can only use the link feature. I paste the link to the chosen video, like this one, and then select the extract I want to work with. Today, I'm using the whole video. Next, I choose the type of questions. The options include open questions, ABCD questions, and true-false statements. I'm going with open questions, specifying my student's language level, and then click on do the magic. In just a second, I have a set of questions and answers created for the video. How awesome is that? I want to try to create the ABCD questions to show you how this works. I change the question type and here we go. I get a new set of questions. All the exercises that you create on Twee can be edited. Just click on the pencil button to rewrite some of the questions and rearrange the order. You can also customize your task descriptions, just like this. After you create an exercise, you can scroll down to see our Don't Stop section. It has suggestions on which tools to use next. Here, the next thing I could do with the same video is create a gap fill summary for it. I choose this option, select the language of the video and click on the magic button. There we go. I will ask my students to watch the video and fill in the gap with the suitable information. Another fun fill in the gap activity you can create is this one. Use the video to text tool to extract the transcript from your video. Then head to the Don't Stop section and choose the Fill in the Gap option. Select the words and phrases you want to exclude, just like this, one by one, and that's it. You've got your Fill in the Gap activity for detailed listening. Time to create some lead-ins. You can use the transcript for this. Go back to this tool, select the lead-in activities in the Don't Stop section and get three ideas on how to best start your lesson. Now you might be thinking, how do I share everything that I have created? There are many options. The first one is export everything as a PDF, simple and classic. I can include or exclude the answers depending on for whom the copy is going to be, the teacher or the student. Now I have everything conveniently saved into one file. Perfect. I can print it or screen share it with my students. Another way to export everything is through Google Forms or Google Docs. For that, I need to link my Google account. All the exercises will be exported as separate parts of a Google form or as a long file in doc format. And the best one, interactive sharing. In my lesson, I click on interactive to preview it. I can set the number of points for each exercise and adjust the assessment settings. If I feel that something is wrong, like the order of the exercises, I can go back to edit mode and easily change it. When I'm done, I can preview everything as a student and even try it out. Okay, now I'm ready to share. I click assign and here I have two options. Number one, I can copy the link to the lesson and send it directly to my students. They will not need to register, just follow the link enter the name or nickname 
and complete the exercises one by one. After they submit, students will see the results. You, as a teacher, will see their results in the results section of the corresponding lesson. The QR code is great if your students are using smartphones in class. Just show it on the board and scanning the code will bring the students to the tasks too. If you want your students to have TWI accounts too, where they will be able to store all of the previous results, add the emails and send them an invitation. In this case, after your students sign up, you will be able to arrange them in classes for easier management. You will be able to track each student's progress and they will be able to access all of the previous grades on their side. Okay, the lesson is ready. Now let's see what I can create on TWI if I decide to build my lesson around a text. First, I want to generate a simple text about time travel with my vocabulary for levels A to B1. I type in the topic, choose the level, the genre, there is a long list by the way, and add my vocabulary. And TWI generates a text for me. Now there are so many things I can do with this text. The first thing I could do is create questions for it. Just like with a video, we have ABCD, true, false, or open questions. This time I choose true, false. The text is copied automatically. Then I click on do the magic. And just like that, I have a list of true or false statements with answers ready for my lesson. Do you remember I used the vocabulary to create my text? Now I can put all these collocations into the word definition matching tool, for example. Choose the level, amazing. I can use it as an exercise or even export it as a glossary. For that, I can mix or unmix the definitions and I can also view this output as a simple text. I can also use the word translation matching. Let's see how this works. You can choose one of the available languages. I'm going to opt for French. Perfect. And now I want to create a writing activity for my students. So I go back to the text and with the same topic, I create a list of essay topics for my class. Here I have personal essay topics and general essay topics to choose from for my students. Great. Remember I said we have two ways to work with the text? Here is the second one. Another option, and this is great for higher levels, is uploading an online article. Simply paste the link into the tool you want to use and TWI will upload the article, allowing you to work with it just like any other text. For instance, we are creating discussion questions now. It's a huge time saver. Remember, everything you create on TWI is stored in your main space, your lesson library. Your last lesson always appears at the top of the page. You can arrange lesson plans into folders for more convenient storage. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the demo and found some exciting ways to make the most out of TWI. Dive in, explore and happy teaching.